everyone, welcome back to Radical Toys. Welcome back to another live stream. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? We're going to be doing some Masters of the WWE. So we're going a little bit back in the past, a little bit, not too far in the past, but far enough. Uh, back when, before the Moto Origins line began, we got these bad boys and they're pretty sweet figures. So we're going to be checking out Ricky the Dragon Steamboat tonight. And I'm excited because he was one of the ones that I really wanted to get my hands on and uh, get him out of the package and see what's going on with him. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to see who is in the chat here in just a second. Actually, yeah, we can do it now. Why not? Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, we got Speaking Moistly is in the house. Good to see you, Speaking Moistly. Appreciate you dropping in and chilling with us tonight. We've got Radical Mom is in the house. So we got Radical Mom. Uh, we've got Loretta's in the house, so Radical Sister is also in the house. She's working, so she'll be in and out of the stream, so that's fine. I appreciate you dropping in. We've got uh, Jesse Greve is in the house. Uh, let's see, does Ricky look like Dragon Blaster, Skeletor, and Merman? That's actually a very good point, because I forgot to dig out my Dragon Blaster <laughs> Skeletor out of the book oh, bag. Wait, um, what? put the light on. Let's see, it's a little darker. Oh, a little shadowy on that side. That's okay. We'll put the light on. Uh, we need to get another another set of these lights. I think because they're really good, but we need more. Um, I do happen to have Dragon Monster Skeletor, guys. I just forgot to put him out on the table until Jesse just said that. So thank you for reminding me. I totally packed him on purpose and forgot to put him out on the table. So. I'll do that. Actually, maybe we can let Christina do that. See if she can figure out how to put them together. I think you can figure it out. It's not hard. I don't want to figure it out. <laughs> Actually, hold on. I want to put I want to put water in him because that has an action feature. Do you have water in it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm drinking can you, can water. Can you put a little bit of water in there? It doesn't take much. It just takes a little Here, tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Only you can only fill it up to that ring. Okay, I'll fill it up then. We're gonna put some water in Dragon Blaster Skeletor so that we can show you guys like a little action feature that he has. Since we're kind of doing the whole uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, which is basically you know the theme is based off of this guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> shoot! I put way too much in there. You're gonna make a mess. Just let me do it. I think he would have did worse than me. <laughs> Why would he have? I think he would. All right, so we got water everywhere, but that's okay. <laughs> kind of do things on the fly tonight. Uh, no, we got to empty him out a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> there. Unfortunately, you can't put too much water in this. It doesn't allow it. And then basically all you got to do, right, is you clip the chain... I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing here because I know I got Ricky there in front of the camera. Uh, what you do is you put this on the chain and you just clip it over to here. All right. And that goes like that. And then you can put the chain like wherever you want it. See, this is why I'm digging this figure so much is because he's got a real chain. So what I wanted to do, and I forgot to do it, and I was at the dollar store and I forgot... I wanted to get a friggin' real train, or a real train, a real <laughs> chain for Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and I forgot to do it. I forgot. I was I was at the dollar store, too. We'll and I, get you one. Uh, I forgot to do it. I meant to do it, and I forgot. Oh, well. That's okay. Mums is leaving the beaver alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so we'll put, we'll put Dragon Blaster there for the moment, and we'll kind of show him a little bit later. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's get going. It's time to rumble. There, uh, the Radical Mom is already on the wrestling kick. Uh, let's see. Uh, speaking moistly, says, Ricky was a young boy. He had a heart of stone. <laughs> yes. Mom. Leave it to Beaver. There you go. Leave it to Beaver. So we got seven people in the house now. So how's everybody doing tonight? I'm going to siphon some of your... Uh, Skittles, but the orange ones because I like okay. orange. Orange yeah. is my favorite. Yeah. Orange is like my favorite flavor slash artificial flavor. Well, there you go. I love orange. 
I don't mind sharing. So sharing is caring, though, you know. So we got a bunch of <laughs> figures in a box from Mike. Minute Plastic Toy Shop. And this is one of the ones that he gave us. Actually, we got two of them because we got one for speaking moistly. So we're going to send that one out from here pretty shortly. So we got that one. And then we got this one. And we got a bunch of other ones that are over there in the box. So we're going to check these out. Um, but let's go ahead. And I'm going to get started with the packaging. So move those guys out of the way. He's not going to want to stand up. Maybe you can stand this guy for him. He won't stand. And we'll start with the packaging before we get and open them up. And I forgot to get a knife. No, I got one. Oh, you got one? Yep. That's dangerous. Hey. <laughs> That's not nice. Yeah. All right. So Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So Look. What? I got him to stand. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> you win a cookie. No, I'll have a Skittle instead. All right, then. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Masters of the WWE, it says. Uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. <coughs> I like it because they did the Lava Burst in blue instead of red, so they got that full Masters of the Universe theme going on. Heroic. Let's see. What is it? Heroic Master of Dragons. And you can see him showcased within. He's got Merman's classic armor and Dragon Blaster Skeletor's classic dragon. Just painted, uh, or sorry, not painted, but casted in a translucent orange plastic, which I'm very excited to check that out. And let me see, who was it? I think it was Tasty Cake that was checking him out too the other night. So he was doing his mm -hmm. uh, live stream on the exact same character. So I was like, cool. I said, what's the odds? I was doing the same character. As it says, includes collector's booklet. Uh, it says, armed with the devastating dragon blaster, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat fires up the crowd and brings the heat inside the ring. Uh, you can see Macho Man Randy Savage and Jake the Snake Roberts. And I do have the Jake the Snake. We don't have that Randy Savage, though. That's the Horde version. It says, you can collect them all. Each sold separately, subject to availability, colors, and decorations may vary. Figures <laughs> cannot stand or pose alone. Oh, wow. It actually even says it, that they cannot stand alone. Isn't that something? I've never seen that before. Have you guys ever seen that before on the back of a package? Cannot stand or pose alone. Uh, it's the first time I've ever seen that, I swear. Now I'm going to have to check the other packages to see if they say the same thing. What is that on the back of What's the package? There's something sticking there. Okay, so in this line or this wave, we've got Becky Lynch, the man of WWE Trinia. So people were telling me that she calls herself the man. And that's why that says that. And she's got Tila's accessories. We got Macho Man Randy Savage, HWO for life. And I know when you take the armor piece off, it says HWO underneath the shirt or the armor or whatever. So that's kind of neat. So he's sporting, once again, the man at arm stuff, but white and black, which is kind of cool, which is kind of why I want him. Ricky himself and Rowdy Roddy Piper. I got to say that slowly because it's a tongue twister for me. Uh, Evil Hot Rod, it says, and we do have this guy. He's going to be one that we're going to be opening up in the future. Uh, and Becky as well. We also have Becky. Detached Dragon Armor, so for the cross cells, we've got Detached Dragon Armor for Creature Combat, so the dragon goes on his back. Twist into for powerful battle positions, it says, so there's no action feature or anything like that. The dragon does not squirt water because it's based off the classics mold, uh, but it kind of gives up that feel, right? So it's kind of neat. It's, it's very perfect for this figure, or for this character, I should say, so it's pretty neat. Uh, I like Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I've been kind of revisiting uh, WWE and uh, <laughs> WWF back in the day. And uh, where he won the championship with Macho Man Randy Savage. And that was a really good match. And a lot of wrestlers themselves say that it was one of the it is the greatest match that they've ever seen on screen. It was him and Macho Man Randy Savage. So whether you agree or disagree, I have no idea. Personally, I think they're all pretty good, but uh, if you ask some of them wrestlers, they'll, if you ask them what the favorite, what their, what the best or favorite 
WWF match was back in the day. That's the match that they'll tell you. So that's kind of cool. I, I'm only saying it because I've seen them say it in interviews. So I'm just kind of basing it off what they say. Uh, you can go ahead and open up the package. You can go ahead and get started. We do want the card, so I just want you to slip around it just like you normally do. Just don't poke yourself or me or the toy. I'm going to stand way over here. Hopefully I'm still on camera, though. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Really? Yep. Really? Uh, let's see. Where are we at here? Just making sure. I'm a fighting with you. Yeah. Fingers work great. Let's go. Let's get going time to rumble. Uh, let's see. I haven't st sent my stuff your way yet. That's no problem. Whenever you get a chance to, it's no rush. Whenever you get around to it. Uh, Christina, always on the ball. Yep. Uh, let's see. Speaking moistly, says Ricky the Dragon was a really good wrestler. He really was cool. What's really interesting about him or odd, odd about him for me is I never really got into Ricky the Dragon Steamboat until I recently just started to visit, uh, revisit the wrestling stuff. So, but back in the day, he wasn't one of the ones that I paid too much attention to. Had paid too much attention to, and I think I should have because uh, I think I kind of missed out on that one. He is pretty neat. Uh, hey, USA, welcome to the house. Good to see you. Thank you for dropping in and kind of chilling out with us. Stay clear. I know, I got to stay clear. I'm a little bit too close to that knife for Listen, comfort. The knife is not going anywhere near your direction. So shush. I think I'm a little bit too close for my comfort. Shush your lips. I don't know. God damn it, you're distracting me. So yeah, we're just kind of waiting for her to open that up. So while we're waiting, we can just kind of chat about whatever. She's almost done though. She's almost got. It. Oh, look at that! She got it. I have taught you well, my pot of paddle one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> hey, you're the Star Wars girl. I had to say it. You know he's got stringy dings on him, right? So you're gonna have to cut them in the back. Ah, uh, yeah, it's very close. Yeah, those that line always had the strings on them. Oh, you missed a spot. <laughs> I'll get it. Good, you do that. Notice how I swung away from everybody, folks. Here. Don't try that at home. Eh? Oh, so we got the little comic book. Um, it's not a comic though. It's more like just the front card and the back card. But we'll take a look at it and read it. Hopefully it's the uh, American version because you'll get a better biography inside of it. Or story, I should say. There we go. Uh, it's one of those ones where it's kind of stuck in the glue. Kind of got a little bit of damage on it, but not too bad, I guess. But we did manage to salvage the card, so that's cool. And there, she stood up, oh, good old Ricky. Yeah, but here's the thing. I suppose you don't need to do it. I'll get you to do it later. I'll get you to do it later because I am going to do the accessory separately anyway. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at this um, little mini comic or like the, uh, the card. So it says Masters of the WWE. We've got, uh, I'd like to focus on Christina there. Uh, the Dragon Boat on the front. We got Rowdy Piper, and then we got Macho Man. I like that Rowdy is have has the blue He-Man axe. I think that's kind of cool. And I like that they got the he's got the Man at Arms white uh, whatever Man at Arms is weapons called. I can't remember the name of it. I just call it a staff, I guess, even though it's not really a staff. And just the same characters on the wave that we spoke about earlier. On the inside, it should be just the front and back cover. Indeed, it is. It's actually kind of stuck. For some reason, this was stuck together. I don't know why. Uh, it says, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, heroic master of dragons, the great battle has begun. 
A darkness threatens to consume WWE Turnia as the faction of the evil superstars rise from parts unknown to control the balance of power. But the heroic superstars accept the challenge to defend the planet and determine who are the masters of the WWE. Now it says uh, height is 5 foot 10 inches, weight is 235 pounds, superstar powers, mental control over dragons. So he's got what telekinesis or what's the what's that mind control called that Xavier has in X-Men? I don't know the exact name of it. I don't know if that's telekinesis or I don't know. Same idea. Okay, so breeze fire. So dragon or wait, are they trying to say Ricky breeze fire or are they trying to say the dragon breeze fire? I think it's the dragon. Are you sure? Because it doesn't specify. Yes. It doesn't specify. It says foreign objects, dragon blaster. Right, which is the you know the dragon on his back. Oh wow, there actually is a mini story in here. I didn't think there was. I thought it was just going to be the front and back cover because in the Canadian versions or the international versions, we don't have all these chat bubbles and stuff. So let's see. What does it say? Here's it says one. Rattlesnake Mountain. Ding ding ding. Uh, Randy Savage. The day has finally come. The minutes, the seconds, we have reached our moment. You, says Randy Savage, you sought to end me. You left me You left me beaten, broken, but never defeated. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. There can only be one winner, Savage. The dragon's breathing fire. This dragon will scorch your back. I will come away with the championship and see new horizons. So you can kind of see the dragon. Really cool artwork here going on. I'm totally digging that. I love it. I love the idea for it. It's pretty cool. And that's all there is. So just a very short story. I don't Hello, know why they did that. Jeff. Oh, it's Jeff in the house? Yeah. Oh, no. And John. There goes the Skittles. It's like a domino effect. One thing falls over, everything falls over. Everything on their high horse falls over. All right, stand your back up. He's literally standing on a heel. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to check out this dragon first. And then we're going to compare it with the Dragon Blaster Skeletor Dragon, which is going to be hard because I think that one is molded to the armor piece. Yes, it is. Mold it to the armor piece, but that's okay. So, in the classics line, so this is a remold. Re, this is the same tool as the classics, uh, specifically Dragon Blaster Skeletor from the classics. So they reuse this uh, for Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, which is perfectly awesome. Hey, Tasty Cake. Hey, Tasty Cake. Good to see you, buddy. We were just mentioning you because you were just doing Dragon. The, dra uh, you were doing Ricky the other day. And um, really cool. And yeah, I was asking Tasty Cake if this was plastic or metal, and it does seem like this lock is done in plastic. But the little ring here that keeps the lock in place is definitely done in a chain, so metal. So same thing. I want to get an actual chain for him. I'm going to get one. But he's done in a translucent orange plastic, and boys, does he look freaking cool. Uh, more translucent when you get towards the tips of the feet or the hands, like the claws or the end of the tail and the fins as well. So the fins on the, or the scales, fins, whatever you want to call them, the back. Uh, he's got some black and green painted eyes. You can see the sculpt on the teeth, but the teeth aren't painted. Uh, missed opportunity. I wish they could have painted the teeth white, but that's okay. It still looks good. It can rotate. So you got an articulation point in the uh, head. It does have a ball joint. Uh, I don't dare try to get it off. Uh, actually, it popped off really easily. That was actually easier than I thought. I was kind of worried it might break. Because some, some of the classics are very fragile, but not this one. This one seems to be pretty sturdy. That pops on. We got a yellow painted collar. So obviously the whole thing would have been done in just an orange, right? And we've got a little spot here that I think would have clipped onto Dragon Blaster Skeletor's classic armor. I think it would have like rested on somehow. 
But for Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, I'm told that it just rests on his shoulder, so we'll check that out in a minute. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's an, it's an awesome dragon. I'm totally digging it. Uh, very happy that I got this guy in the line because this is one of the ones that I wanted, like one of the top ones that I wanted. So very cool that uh, uh, me and Mike were able to find this figure and kind of score it and put it in the box. So. Hey, Dave. Don't worry about being late. You're here and it's all happening. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. Uh, we're just kind of getting started anyway. We literally just got open the package, so you're you're not late or anything like that. So you're good, buddy. And uh, okay, so let's do a quick comparison with the uh, the two dragons. I wish I had the classics one, but I do not. But there you go. You can see that it is based off the same sort of design, but where this one has a water feature. Right? It actually shoots water. So let's just check that out for a minute. And you can kind of see that it is molded onto the back of the piece. Or no, I shouldn't say molded. It's it's actually looks like it's uh it's clipped on. You can kind of see some clips here. And it's probably got some glue in there too, I would think, to keep that thing sturdy. It's not meant to be removed. Um if you go ahead and just press the Where's your cloth? Uh, you got your cloth. Can you pass me that face cloth? Thank you. You're welcome. And if you squirt the water, there he goes. He shoots water, so it works perfectly fine. It works great. You get about, I, I tested it. You get about, I think it's about 25 to 30 shots out of a full, full dragon. So see that? Look, it's already empty. I had it like half full. You get a couple shots out of it. It works just like the vintage one. It's pretty neat. So that's basically what the character is based off of is the Dragon Blaster Skeletor, which I thought was a great idea. And I love the Dragon Blaster Skeletor. He's one of my top favorite figures um, in the Masters of the Universe line, period. Uh, I've had very close affection and attention to this character. I played with this guy immensely when I was growing up. And I just love him. I'll have to try and revisit the vintage one someday if I ever manage to get a hold of one. But I do love the Origins one. I think it's I think it's great. They did a fantastic job with it. Great figure. It is my favorite Skeletor variant. And uh, let's just take a look at. Uh, we'll take. We'll tell. Let's see if we can take this harness off so we can take it deep look at it. I don't have the Classics Merman, so I don't have any. And I forgot to bring my Origins Merman to kind of do the comparison with the harness. I totally forgot to do that. He's, he is packed away, but I could have dug him out, but I just kind of forgot. And this has kind of like the traditional straps on it, like the vintage one would have had. Let me get that one apart, but that's okay. Here we go. I could have just pulled them apart, it would have been easier, but so here is the classics merman's harness. So this would have came with the classics merman, and I'm not sure if it's the same tone color of merman's. If uh, merman's would have been like maybe a lighter or darker green, I'm really not sure, or it could be exactly identical for the paint apps. You guys can let me know if you have them. Uh, it's got some yellow paint and some nail the red dot in the center there. The harness clips just like the traditional one would clip in the vintage line. So, and yeah, you you can share these across the board. That they're pretty they pretty much fit all your figures. So, you can put you can actually put this on. I'm pretty sure, and I forgot to do it, and I forgot to bring him, and I meant to do it. Uh, my Masterverse Merman. Because I was going to see if this fits on him, and I forgot to bring him. Totally forgot. I wanted to try it on camera, and I forgot to do it. Because I forgot to bring him, but oh well, it's all right. No paint apps on the inside of it, but it's very pliable. It's very flexible plastic, very rubbery. You know, bounces back into place. It's all good. We get into Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. He's got that standard... He-Man buck going on there. It looks good. We can pull him apart. He pulls apart in every single way. Should pull apart in the arms. There he goes. Can pull the arms off. There's the bracers for the arms. 
done in a red plastic. Looks good. It's kind of like a like an orangish red or a reddish orange sort of thing. So it's not like a deep, deep red, but it's not like a vi vibrant red either. It's just kind of like an orange red. It looks good. You can kind of tell the difference because the lags is more of a deeper red. Difference in the color. We've got some painted scales going on there on his uh, on his tights, so it looks really good. Kind of go with the motif of uh, dragons. We've got some red uh, red casted boots. So uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, other other characters would have these boots in the line. They're same ones as the uh, Goldberg over there. He's got the same boots. They're identical. No difference. So these are shared across the board with the masters of the WWE stuff. They can be pulled apart as well. If you want to yank them apart, you can do that. Most of us know this. Uh, the only thing you can't really yank out is the legs, uh, unless you heat it up and yank them off the ball joint. But you know, that's for like customizers, things like that. So that looks pretty good. Uh, let's get them together, back together here. We'll put the harness back on them. So if you really wanted to, you could totally just put them in a wrestler mode uh, without the harness, and you'd be good to go. Or if you want to do the mix and match, you can certainly do that too. It's a great line. Uh, I thought it was a genius idea for... Um, Mattel to do Masters of the Universe mixed with WWE. I thought it was just a genius idea. Especially uh, you were able to get some classic accessories uh, that are different colors, right? So it's kind of almost like getting a bonus weapons pack or something like that. It's kind of neat. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Hey, Obbies. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. You kind of just made it just, just in time, buddy. Kind of going through this Ricky the Dragon steamboat here. He looks really cool. So there is our Ricky. Now, where's the head? Let's take a look at this head sculpt, guys. And, yeah, this looks just like him as far as I'm concerned. It looks just like Ricky. Um, that's me my bone for a sec. I want to bring up a photo of his face and see how accurate this is. Let's take a peek here. I'll take a look here and see uh, how close it is. Ricky, the dragon, WWE, there he is. And he even has the bandana on. Oh, isn't that genius? I didn't know he, I didn't realize he wore this outfit. Uh, because it's actually got a green harness on it. So now I totally see why they did that. He used merman's. That's really cool. And then he's got the red with the scales. I didn't realize he actually had tights with the scales on it. So what a genius idea. Perfect for marketing. And so there's the head skull. Let me see if I get a better close-up photo of his face here. There he is. Here, you know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of Quick Kick from G.I. Joe Classified or just G.I. Joe. He reminds me of Quick Kick. But there it is. There's the head sculpt, and there he is. So, yeah, they got the likeness uh, pretty good for the most part. I thought they did a great job. Only difference being he's got the green bandana instead of the red. Uh, really well done. Got the black uh, painted eyes going on there and black hair and part it. It looks just like he did. Just like he did. You know, he got the mullet in the back which was notorious for the 80s. We didn't have a mullet or a rat tail. Some people had mullets, some had people had rat tails. I never had either. <laughs> kind of glad I dodged the rat tail thing. Yeah, the only thing that did different was the color of his headband. Yep. I'm sure he probably wore a green one at some point in, the, uh, in WWE, I'm sure. More than likely. <laughs> Takes the treat business in the front party in the back. <laughs> yeah, he's really cool. Now, if I can get back to the chat, and I'll <laughs> probably have to refresh it here. There you go. Just to be on the safe side. I'll get to the chat here in just a minute, guys. But yeah, they did a real good job with that face sculpt. I thought they did a fantastic job. 
let's plant it uh, back on his head there and or his body. And last but not least, let's see if we can get the dragon to rest on his shoulder. That's what I'm really curious about. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Because apparently it just sits on there. It doesn't really clip on any way, short, shape, or form. But the plan is, is for me to get a chain, connect it here, and then kind of wrap it around his arm or whatever so he doesn't fall off. And it would really, truly go with the uh, whole Dragon Monster Skeletor theme. Okay, I see how they do it. They're, they're, they, they do it in such a way where you can just put the claw. You can connect the claw like that. And yeah, it, it just kind of rests there. It doesn't really, but it, you know what? It stay. It stays if you get them in the right spot. If you get them in the right spot, it'll stay. So you know, you see here. There, there we go. Kind of. It does make them top heavy though, because that dragon is pretty heavy. That dragon is actually very heavy. You gotta get that sweet spot. There we go. Now we got that sweet spot. Kind of move them sideways so you guys can kind of see them there. Yeah, that's kind of how he works. There he is. He's looking pretty good. I'm very happy with the figure. I, I think he's one of the better ones in the line. I, I, there's not too many in the Masters of the WWE that I don't like. There's not very many. There's maybe just a couple. And I think it's mostly just going to be the females because I'm not a big fan of the female buck in the Origins line. But uh, so far, so far these are pretty. Uh, these are pretty awesome. Oh, just heard my knees crack. And that's your Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Oh boys, I'm a little on the slow side. Just got done. Uh, we just got done having supper there. We barbecued and we had a nice barbecue. It was a lot of fun. I love when you barbecue. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You don't have to do anything. Just sit back and relax and play your game. <laughs> that's actually relax, true. relax, play your game. Mm -hmm. You're good to go. Oh, Chris Kenny. All right, let's see what everyone's kind of saying here. Uh, let's see. Oh, before I forget, guys, we do have a goal of $25 tonight for Super Chat. We are trying to uh, save up to get a PC, so donations are going towards our PC upgrade. So if anybody's interested in Super Chat, we do have a 25 limit. We usually set a limit on Friday nights if people have the extra money or if they're interested in helping out the channel. You can certainly do so. Otherwise, uh, hit the like button, and that would be great, guys. Uh, let's see where are we at here in the chat. Let's go down and see what everybody's saying. Yep, Jeff, you're late, buddy. Uh, Tobin the Spirit Guide is late. That's what I'm gonna call him now. <laughs> Tobin the Spirit Guide. He got me through the Ghostbusters video game on on our live stream. I got lost. I don't know how many times in that game. Several. Several. Uh, let's see. We've got Tasty Cake is in the house, and we got David's in the house, too. Good to see you. Appreciate you dropping in and hanging out with us. And we got John from Figurely Speaking. John's in the house. I figured you'd be along. You were a big fan of these figures. I believe John has this entire Masters of the WWE line. I'm jealous. These are really yeah. cool. I'm really pumped that we're going to get our hands on the Undertaker. Oh, that's right. Apparently we're... Did Mike get that for you? Yes. And he's going to put it away until I can get it. So he already got it for you? Yeah, he was going to get it yesterday. Oh, he didn't tell me. No. Yeah. Anyway, apparently Mike, our good boy Mike, is getting us the Undertaker. But he, it's, uh, he got it from eBay, so it's being... Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's going to ship to him, and then it'll right. ship to us. I get it. That's cool. So that'll be a fun one because the Undertaker glows in the dark. And he's my favorite. Yeah, I know he's your. He's Mike's favorite too. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the dragon. Yeah, maybe it is telepath, telepathic, telepath. I, I don't know. Yeah. What What's another way of saying mind control? <laughs> this the power Xavier has. Isn't that Isn't that 
telepath. That's what what's his face said. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I think you're right. You're probably right. Uh, let's see. see what? See no, I don't want you to open them. <laughs> it's already open. I know. I don't want you to have any. <laughs> I don't want to share. That's too bad. I don't like sharing these. These well, are my favorite. Listen here. Well, let me see if there's a rotten one in here first. You're not giving me a rotten one. <laughs> Sure. I had a great discovery with you guys ever eat these damn things. Uh, freeze straw, freeze straw. No, dry freeze strawberry. I discovered something so amazing the other day. I was so excited when I, I text uh, Christina. I said, I, I, I came up with a new discovery. You take a bunch of these. They're hard, right? <coughs> Wrong tube. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a drink. Uh, I cr I crunched up a bunch of these and I put them in vanilla ice cream. And it was like eating a flurry. It was like the best thing I've ever tasted. It really was the cat's ass. Like it was so good. And I was like, we gotta get some ice cream. We gotta buy some ice cream. Never you mind, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff says, um, you have to hide the snacks, Adam. Don't take them in unless you are alone. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I'm going to know better next time. Next time I'm going to say no. But I'm okay with eating her snacks. Okay. Well, you know what? If the shoe fits, wear it. So there. Mm. <laughs> oh, cool. Everyone's saying hello. Uh, Tasty oh, Cake, yeah. you're in the house. Good to see you, buddy. Tasty Six that said that they have the freeze-dried candies. Issues with email. Sorry, I'm like, no worries, man. I have some of these. YouTube's funny with notifications. Sometimes it just doesn't go out. I want to have him paint it green to go with He-Man. There you go. You mean the dragon? Yes. You must. Yeah, you must mean the dragon. because I think you mentioned that last time on your yeah, stream. he means you. <laughs> Oh, I see what I, I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm like, why in the world would he want to paint that green? And I'm like, oh, cringer. <laughs> well, you're going to have to do yellow stripes on him too, if that's what you're doing. I just clued into that. Yes, Mary, that is right. What is, what is mine? Oh, Jeff is eating supper. What are, what are you eating? We had a great, we had a real nice barbecue. We had pork chop. We had some. I did up some potatoes and soaked them in the butter, and we had uh, cheddar sausages. Smoked cheddar. Smoked cheddar sausages with my own recipe that I can't tell anybody what my recipe is because if I did, I'd have to kill them. Um, it was great. I even had the neighbor in the in the window next door looking at me, and you know, because she must have she must have smelt the friggin' the barbecue, and I'm like. Holding up the spatula with my thumbs up. Hey. It was awesome. Now, uh, let's see. Speaking moistly, it says, Battle Armor is my He-Man and Skeletor version. And you know what? It is mine, too. Uh, as much as I do like the original one and the original Skeletor, I, didn't, I don't think I had the original He-Man. My friends did, but I didn't. I think I had the original Skeletor, but I definitely had the Battle Armor He-Man and the Battle Armor Skeletor, so I played with those more, because I think by the time like I was getting them and stuff, uh, you couldn't find the Harness He-Man anymore. You, you couldn't find him anywhere. Your mother said it right. Uh, What's mine is mine. What's yours is mine. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah there's a saying for me. Tasty Cake, I did uh, another concept of using Origin Skeletor Vintage Fisto, uh, armor Vintage Dragon Ball Skeletor front armor, and a chain for Skeletor Walk the Dragon. Yeah, that's cool. I, I gotta get a I gotta get another one of these chains for that dragon. I'm gonna attach it to that, and then maybe I'll just kind of wrap it around his arm or something like that. I'll go and get a chain for him. Mm. I don't know why Mattel didn't give him a chain. They should have gave him a chain. I don't know if he can read that, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glad someone's on the ball. Exactly. 
And JD Hobbies is in the house. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah, the headband is green in this one. Yeah, the toy version is green. I know it's red in the in the when he actually wrestles, at least from the images that I seen. I have a skullet now. <laughs> uh, that was such a big thing in the eighties too. It was the the uh, the rat tail and the mullet. The mullet I could get behind, but man, I really did not like rat tails. Did you like rat tails? I had a rat tail. Did you had a rat tail? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. So yeah, because you were more of a tomboy, weren't you, girl? I also had the Christine Spike hair dudes. Yeah. Oh, I can get behind that. I just the rat tail thing. I don't know what what was. So the, I did a rat tail because I had shaved the sides of my head and had my initials in my hair. What was the deal with a rat tail? Why was that such a it's just the thing? Just oh the man. Thing. My friends, a couple of my friends had the rat tail, and I, I, it drove me nuts every time I looked at it. I just wanted to yank it and take a pair of scissors. <laughs> I never had one. I never had a mullet either. I always had short hair. Mom always kept my hair short. Uh, didn't wear different color headbands. Didn't he, didn't, did he wear different color hairbands? I actually don't know the answer to that. I, the only ones I've seen was, I think he did. I think there was a gold one with snake with like a some sort of dragon design on it. And then I seen the red one, but I don't know about anything else. He probably did. I don't like either dragon. Really? I love these dragons. Set them on, on a shelf in the right spot. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to keep them here. He'll, he'll stay here. Probably uh, Christina's more than likely. Uh, she's got she still got some room up there on the top yeah, of her TV too. stand. She got a big TV stand, like as long as this table. It's huge, and you can fit all kinds of toys on it. So that's what we've been kind of doing. Yeah, up front, there my Star Wars. Yeah, we got the Star Wars up front, so that's kind of just like a mix of different figures up there. Uh, Chris Kenny, thank you for dropping in. Good to see you. Appreciate it. Oh, hey, Dexter. Yeah, another radical night for sure. We've been just kind of like chilling out here and talking about the Dragon Blaster Skeletor and the Dragon Blaster Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. How did you... Uh, Dexter asked, how did we meet? <laughs> how did we meet? Yeah. Oh, okay, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> what do you? Uh, what did you have in the foils? Oh, we had... Um, oh, you probably saw that image because I dropped it on the Toy Network. I had... Um, uh, I cut up some slices of potato with a bunch of butter, put a little bit of pepper in there, and I put salt in hers because she likes salt on her food. I can't stand it, so I have to do two separate two separate packages. So one with salt, one without salt, and they turn out really good. You just put them on uh, 10 minutes before you put your food on, they turn out real good. They turn out real nice. You can make them crispy if you leave them, hey, if you leave them on longer, but I like just putting them on for about... For about 20 minutes. I usually move 20, 25 minutes and they're they're good to go. I just cut them thin, just like thin potato skins, round potato skins. They're really good. Leave the skin on them. They taste great. <laughs> I hope you saved me some. I'm, on my, I'm still on my way. Oh, right. That's right. I forgot you messaged that. I must have cut myself with a knife because my, my finger hurts and it looks like there's a slice. Or did you do it with the knife? I didn't touch you with the knife. I think you might have. I was nowhere, no, I went nowhere near you with the knife. This freaking thing is dangerous. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sweet hat, Ghostbusters is on my TV. Spooky. Yeah, I actually, believe it or not, I actually, I, uh, she bought me that patch. I sewed that on myself. Uh, I sewed that patch. He's a good kitchen bitch. Uh, I'm a good sewer. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm really good at sewing. And how I got really good at sewing is at Halloween time, I was very creative making costumes and, you know, things like that. So I, I learned how to sew. I, I sewed the patches on my on my jacket, too. You're slow. Oh, you care. <laughs> yeah, I do have to hide the snacks no, because don't. she wants my strawberries and... Freaking guilt trips. Thank you. <laughs> and savor the flavor. I will. Thank you. 
<laughs> Don't take them unless you're alone. Exactly. I learned my lesson. We got some freeze dried candies at work. Oh, that would be good. I never did. I ever have freeze? Did we ever have freeze dried candies before? No, we haven't. Oh man, I never think I've ever had that before. Do we have that in St. John? I don't think. What about the lunch box or the freak box? Well, freak freak box freak box or whatever it's called. Do they have it? I don't know. Hmm. We'll have to check that out sometime. We have this. Um, we have this store. Uh, it's on like uh, it's on Ross Ross Avenue out on the east side, and it's you walk into it, and it's like a retro '80s '90s candy place plus modern stuff. And the thing that I saw that blew my mind away because I haven't seen it in so long. You guys remember Big League Chew? I want to show a picture of it. I wonder if you guys remember that. I had Big League Chew, and I used to chew that son of a sack of stuff all the time. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up here. Big League Chew. And what it was was... It's like a taffy. No, it's not a taffy. It's bubble gum. <laughs> and this is it here. And it was like strips of bubble gum that you would rip. Let me see if I, I'm going to get up close. And you rip it out of the package. And this is what you would do. And you would rip it out of the package. And it was like strings of bubble gum. And I loved this stuff. And you open up uh -huh. the package and you smell it. And I used to buy it in the 80s all the time. And I walked in there and they had it. And I freaked out. I was Whoa. like, oh, my Lord. I was like, oh, my Lord, Big League Chew. Um, uh, I love my candy. Jeff says, yes, I used to chew Big Lee Chew and played baseball when I was a kid. Yeah, me too. He said I, I felt like a prolo. <laughs> um, Brick says, I love Big Lee Chew. Speaking yeah. Moistly says, yep, I remember the candy chewing tobacco. Yeah, that's kind of what it reminds you of, like chewing tobacco, but it was, uh, it was bubble gum. Um, Very similar. Tasty Cake says, it did return but disappear again. That's three flavors. Yeah, we have it here. We've got the regular. I think we have grape. And I think they're the only two flavors we have here. I don't even remember what other flavors they made. But, man, uh -huh. that stuff was the cat's ass. I freaking love that stuff. It, Rick it was really says good. it was meant to mimic chewing tobacco. Right. Mom says, too chewy for me. Just like those uh, Popeye cigarettes. Remember those? The Popeye yeah. candy cigarettes? They still make they those. They still make those. But you know what's really funny? What? Is the old ones used to be, uh, they used to have the red tips on them. Now they don't. Now they don't. They took the red tips off because the red was to mimic the, 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 what do you call it? The lit part, <laughs> right? The ashes or whatever it was called, the lit part. The amber. Yeah, whatever. The fireball. The amber. <laughs> fireball on the end of the freaking cigarette. And my lord, talk about monkey see, monkey do. I don't know how we man, we got away with so much freaking things back in the 80s. We got a lot, we got a lot of we got away with a lot of crap. Like we should not have been able. They should have. That should have not have been a thing. Like the like the red on the end of a freaking cigarette. That shouldn't have been a thing. Oh, uh, speaking wisely, says I thought they banned big. It chewed because it encouraged kids to eat chewing tobacco. No, we still have it here. We still have it. Uh, I might. I might have. What I'll do is uh, next time I see it, if I'm down there, I'll buy a pack of it. Yeah. If I if I can think of it, I'll buy a pack of it sometime. Dave says those those and Popeye cigarettes, <laughs> all music. The cat's ass is going tonight. <laughs> oh yeah. There they are. Um John says it disappeared again here in the States because they didn't use to use the same formula and it lost its flavor very quickly. And I found it always did, didn't it? Yeah. Or maybe as kids you just had better taste buds. I don't know. But there there see these are the upgraded Popeye cigarettes that don't have the red tip on it. And like mom just said, it doesn't taste the same candy today as it did before. Uh, is there a candy that you're supposed to pretend to inject in your veins or shirt 
or shoot short up your nose or candy pills. They actually have a picture of it with the red tips. They got a picture of it. I was wondering if I would even find it online. And look at that. Look at that. It actually says it. Candy snort. cigarettes on the package. It actually says it. Okay, so he meant to say snore. So he says there are candy that you're supposed to pretend to inject in your veins or snort up your nose or candy pills. Tape it says Lola. Lola too awesome. Yeah, now they call it can now they just call it candy sticks. Yeah. Just called candy sticks now. It used to be called candy cigarettes. No comment on, no comment on Adam and Jeff Lowe. <laughs> uh, so is that it? Was was the idea of that? Would to get kids interested in cigarettes? Was that the whole idea? Yes, that's what it was. Man, that's bad. What do you think they make those? It, it's only it's only good or only cool or only good if it's legal by the government. You know. Man, that's bad. Just goes to show, never trust the government. Ever. Ever. Yeah, I forgot about those, but that big league chew, man, that stuff is cool. I want, I want to get a pack of that. Can we get a pack of big league chew? Great. Can you get it on? I wonder if you can buy it on Amazon. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, baby. <laughs> we'll have to see. The frozen Lola's, remember? Frozen what? Lola's. I don't know. It's they were huge freezies. Uh, hold on. I gotta scroll up because I. It's Dave talking. Yeah, they're Popeye cigarettes. <laughs> Cats, how's it going tonight? Hey, break something. Thank you for dropping in. I just thought it was candy. <laughs> yeah, Big League Chew was really cool. It was really awesome. I loved it. Uh, yep, I remember the candy chewing tobacco. It was really, uh, I remember being like really soft, like really, really soft, but I don't remember the taste lasting very long. Remember you used to get the, uh, the old baseball cards and it had like that <laughs> thin stick of gum in it and it tastes like cardboard. Do they still, they still make that, I think. This brick must have looked it up because he goes, oh, shoot, G Google candy sweet shits. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> he must have looked it up. Oh, 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 oh. I want to know if anybody remembers this since we're on the topic of candy. This was my ultimate favorite candy when I was a kid. And uh, it, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They don't make it anymore. Oh. They don't make it anymore. It was disbanded. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. I wonder. I just want to know if anybody remembers it. I, I got to find it, though. If I can remember the name of it. I think I have a picture of it, actually, because I can never remember the name of the darn thing. It took me years to figure out what the name was called, and I, I finally found it one day. Sorry, candy sweet shops. Singular shots. Singular shots? Yeah. Hmm. Frizzles? What? Oh, Freezies? it's going to drive me nuts. Oh, freezies, not frizzles. I can't talk about it apparently. Freezies. <sighs> Maybe it's on my other ah, phone. Hey, Night Train. It's probably on my other phone. Hail to the chat. Got here just in time for don't trust the government. Aha, agreed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, look, your light died or shut itself off. Oh, no, oh, came back on. Well, that's weird. It's having a moment. There's a ghost in the house. Uh, anyways, it's candy that comes in a syringe. What the fuck? I agree with you on that one. Squares attached to each other. Huh? <laughs> I thought it was called Gorpo, but it must Ghost be called toast. something else. I love those Easter candies. Robin's eggs. They're amazing. Oh, man. I don't remember what it was called. It started with a G. I thought it was Gorpo. Hello, Sir Clifton. Candy Taffy. 
Hello, everyone. Another Friday. Fridays are always good. Favorite candies, chocolates. <laughs> hey, Ray. Alien. Oh, man, I can't remember. Now I'm not going to be able to find it. Turn him a little bit to the side so people can see the figure with him on his back. Oh, why yes. do people want to see it? Well, I mean, there's new people coming in the chat, so. Well, I can't stand him up now. There you go. You did. You stand. Church. I can't find it now. It's going to drive me crazy. I thought it was called Gorpo, but it was like this candy taffy thing. <laughs> He's taking it out. <laughs> He's resting on Dragon Blaster Skeletor. Really. <laughs> the dragon got too top heavy. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe it's on my other phone. It probably is. It's on the phone that's on record or on live right now, so I can't find it. I, I could have sworn it was called Gorpo, but it was like a taffy bar, and it had an alien on the front, and it had like these little black asteroid things on it but they were like uh like a like a popping candy in your mouth favorite candy of all time used to always eat it and then they discontinued it it was really good but i can't find it now skeletor is throwing it up for two minutes yeah he's holding them up pretty good dragon blaster skeletor is a great figure Dragon on dragon, red versus red versus orange. Who wins? <laughs> yep. Oh, I found it. Ooh, I found it. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> I was spelling it wrong. It's actually Gorgo. Oh my god! Does anybody remember this? Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. Hey, Allison. Hey, Allison. Does anybody remember the Gorgo Taffy Bar from the 80s? It was so freaking good. And it got discontinued, and I don't know the reason behind it, but there's only a couple images on surface on the Internet. It took me years to find it, and I finally found some pictures of it, but there's only a couple. Uh, there's, like what you would see like the alien guy on it. But when you bought the bar, he was on the bar and it said Gorgo on the top of it. And uh, it was like a green taffy and it had like these asteroid black rocks on it and they pop in your mouth. And it was the best, best I ever seen. There's another photo of it there. It was, it was almost like a it was almost like a laffy taffy, but it didn't taste like laffy taffy. Some people in the chat prick goes, huh? I don't I don't ever think I've seen that. Night train says, I can honestly say I've never heard of this. Canadian? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't I I don't know if it was just Canadian or not, but I had it. It would have been uh, it would have been like nineteen eighty five to like maybe nineteen eighty seven. Or 84 to 87. They it, it only came, it was only around for a couple of years and then discontinued it. And I don't know the reasoning behind it. I was trying to like research it and stuff, but I couldn't find much information on it. I it just said that it was discontinued. You can waste says he remembers what that is. It was so good. It was my favorite candy of all time. <laughs> well, and Dave is talking about jawbreakers. Jawbreakers. Yeah, we used to have those too, though I was terrified of those and things. Your mother says, Yes, jawbreakers break your teeth. And David said he almost choked on one. <laughs> I was I was scared of jawbreakers when I was a kid because I was afraid that I was gonna choke. I was a dumbass when I was a kid. I choked on a penny before. I had a penny stuck in my throat before. <laughs> I wasn't very bright when I was a kid. I gotta admit. Allison's in. Oh, thanks for dropping in. And Ray. Oh, is Twin in the house? Twin is in the house. Oh, you got it right tonight. Look at that. What? You got it right tonight. Look at that. Who got right? You did. What got right? You did. About what? Saying Twin. Yes, I did. So there you go. Uh, yeah, I've got to say it again. Don't forget to super chat, guys. Or, sorry, sir. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you're interested in super chatting, 
we do have a $25 budget for tonight. So if anybody's interested to kind of do some donations towards the channel for equipment upgrades, that would be great if you can. If you can't, that's okay too. Uh, we've got Sir Clifton is in the house. Good to see you, buddy. Real awesome. Uh, let's see. Skeletor strong enough for two men. There oh, you yeah, go. Look. Oh, yeah. He fell over, didn't he? Yes. Over there. Uh, lean on me when you're not strong. Skeletor will be your friend. He'll help you carry on. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you need to turn the world. <laughs> There. Yes. Oh, this candy talk is getting me hyper because I love candy. Where's the Skittles? Uh, you ate them all? I did. Oh, look what I found on the floor. A Skittle. A Skittle. Orange one, too. Hmm. <laughs> Squares attached to it. If you're talking about the candy bar, it was like these little asteroid things. And they're all throughout the all throughout the taffy, but I can't explain to you what the taste what it tastes like. Oh, thank you, David. It has a very specific taste. Oh, thirteen ninety nine super chat from Dave. Thank you so much, buddy. You're the man. We'll put that towards uh, PC upgrade. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Really great. Uh, Night Train says I I think Obstoppers have been discontinued as well. I love those. I remember those. I'm not sure if they uh, if they got discontinued or not. I, I haven't seen. All, all I know is I haven't seen them. It's been a while. I'll have to check out that old uh, old candy shop that we have here sometime. We're gonna have to go in. I'll have, to, I'll have to go in with my video camera and take some pictures and footage of it. And, Cause I I gotta show you guys that big league chew. That stuff's the best. I'm gonna buy a pack of it as soon as I see it. You should do a candy eating race. Oh man, I'm already on a sugar high. Thanks for dropping by, Brick. Have a good night. Thanks for dropping in, Brick. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I got the song stuck in my head. How's Allison doing tonight? It's good to see you. I almost choked on one. Yeah, see, I'm afraid to eat uh, jawbreakers and stuff and gobstoppers. I I'm terrified. Did weren't the gobstoppers? They were the one with the multi, yeah, the multi layers, right? Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, they were. I remember them because I remember the name. They were. Uh, I was scared to eat them because I was always scared to choke on them. So I never really ate that stuff when I was a kid. I was afraid to. Poor oh, muffin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I train said he's never heard of this uh, Canadian. It could it could have been Canadian. I don't I don't know. I don't know if it was in the states. Maybe it was a Canadian thing. But for some reason, it got discontinued. So I don't know if somebody got sick or whatever. But that's that stuff. That tastes good. It was great. I just like my Milky Way. That was Ray doing. Yeah, it was really cool. It was great. But yeah, thanks again, Dave, for that super chat, man. I really appreciate that, man. That was awesome. Mom says she loves the bars. I'll have to tell mom I need more sweets again. <laughs> oh, my Lord. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> I bring over this big container, right? I got this big container of sweets that mom uh, gave to me, and it was like two or three containers filled with it. We had turtles. What else was it? Turtles or no, not turtles. You guys, you know, you guys know what frogs are, but the, the sweets, frogs, it's they're like, no, they're no big cookies. It's like coconut and chocolate. Yeah, no, big, no big cookies. Honey. Well, we call them frogs. Right. They have, they have many more names. Trust me. Okay. Well, anyway, we call them frogs and, hey, uh, um, okay. I'll check. Let me, let me finish my story. Cause if I don't finish it, I'm going to forget. And anyway, we had, we had a, basket of those i guess my aunt made them but mom mom gave them to me and she gave me like a couple containers full of them what else <laughs> a bunch of containers full of squares i don't eat the squares and stuff i said i'll bring this stuff to christina <laughs> gave it to christina next day it was gone it was not to it me. was gone it was not gone in a day Get you, they were gone not in a day you ate them all 
Uh, and when I, what was the other things that I brought over to you? In a week. That that went in the, the night. That thought went in the night. Yeah, I brought you some other... What, they what were the heck were they? Peanut butter, something were they peanut, peanut butter? butter? Yes. Peanut butter sweets, and I brought them over, and I was like, oh, did you enjoy the... the, the and I look in the fridge, and there's none in there. I'm like, where's the peanut butter things that I brought for you? She said, I ate them. I'm like, you ate them? I'm like, there was like 30 of them in the freaking container. How did you eat them all? Needless to say, I got to hide my treats. I got to hide any sweets. She ate every one of them. <laughs> you brought them over again to me. I, so I said, I, so I was talking to mom. I said, you know what? I said. Oh, I think you, mom. Mom says she has more. She just don't eat them. Yeah, I, I was talking to mom. So I was talking to mom and I says, I said, you know what I wouldn't mind having is the peanut butter balls, like the chocolate peanut butter balls. She's like, oh, I got to ask her to get those next time. And I'm thinking to myself, I said, I ain't, I ain't taking them to Christina's place. Maybe I'll bring you one. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right. So that was my story on that. Uh, let's see. Night Train says, uh, do anyone nab anything from Polython? I miss Bebop and Rocksteady. I'm uh, watching my money now, so I didn't really need to spend the money anyway, but these would be pretty much finished by TMNT Neko. Oh, cool. Those TMNT Neckles are nothing. Uh, Neckos are pretty cool. <laughs> I like them. I did have, um, I had the, the, the Krang and Shredder 2 pack, but I traded it to somebody, and I don't remember who it was. It was pretty cool. Oh, and Ralph Mum, ten dollars super chat. So what are we at now? We're at twenty. Say twenty four bucks. We're at twenty four. Because it's twenty. Or if we have to get to the penny, it's twenty three ninety nine. So we'll say twenty four. So yeah. well, we need a dollar, right? right? We need we need one dollar to hit the twenty five mark. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, uh, Radical Mom, for super chatting. If anybody wants to hit the last of the budget, one dollar, uh, feel free. Our donations are going to go towards the PC. Uh, let's see. I have more guys that don't eat them off. You want to give them to Christina? I don't eat the squares. Like I won't eat squares. I'm sorry. I love it. I'm I won't eat squares. I, I'm. I'm, I'm specific. A sugar fiend. I love my kid. I love my sweets. I like them too, but I'm specific on ones that I Mom like. Says anytime. I'm Thank more the, I'm more of the person that likes gummy bears and things like that, you know. I like that type of sweets. Uh, let's see, Jesse says I can get Moto Team in T Michelangelo and Skeletor tomorrow. Oh, cool. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys are able to get the stuff that you guys are looking for. I have not seen the Team in T ones here yet. I think the only one we saw on Amazon uh, was uh, the Raphael one. I think that was the only one. The only ones I really wanted was the Donatello, Leonardo. They were the two that I wanted, but I never found them. I never seen them. And they never came. At least not yet. If they ever do, I'd probably pick. I'd at least pick up that Donatello because he's my favorite turtle. So I would definitely pick him up. But there, look at that. Michelangelo is looking pretty cool, though. So, yeah, that's what we were kind of talking about. The candy stuff tonight, I guess. Mm -hmm. We had an awesome stream there. We did the uh, the Ghostbusters game. That was fun. We did that. We finished it off. Uh, and Christina and Jeff got me through it. They helped me through the game. Wow. Elizabeth. And oh, and Elizabeth, right. She's the one that sent it to me. Right. She helped me through it because I got stuck. And oh, Sunday, guys, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do master or masters of WWE. We're gonna do WWE 2K14, PlayStation 3. That's what we're gonna we're gonna do a live stream on Sunday. Uh, same time, we'll probably do 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and we're gonna do some Macho Man promos, and we're gonna do Slim Jim commercials. Uh, Night Train says Mattel is doing a new TMN line this summer. He's interested in seeing those. Mom says Jeff knows. <laughs> oh, they're doing a new team. In, uh, they're doing a specifically on their own, like uh, with with nickel look with Nickelodeon with the TMNT. That's cool. I who owns the license to the to the turtle figures now? It is this, it's Nickelodeon, right? Because I know they have the license to the, like the shows and stuff, but I think it's still them that owns the license for the figures too, right? 
But that'd be cool if they're partnering up with friggin' Mattel. Mattel is going to do a specific turtle line and they do it like in the origins book or whatever they're going to do. That would be freaking awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks, Jay. Jay. Have a good night, hon. Appreciate you dropping in, bud. Really awesome, man. Thanks a lot. I'm enjoying that cyclone you sent over too, by the way. I'm freaking loving that figure. Uh, the classics one. I got that on my shelf. Maybe it's Playmate, but it's going to be vintage, vintage style, style, like Moto Origins. Origins. Good, good. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure who the the toy holder is. I just assume it was Nickelodeon because I know they have the rights to the shows and stuff. I just figured it was them because do doesn't the TMNT and the He-Man crossover figures doesn't it say Nickelodeon on the package? I gotta look that up because now you got me. Now you got me crazy. Got me uh, wondering that. Uh, let's look them up. Masters of the... I was thinking Masters of the WWE. What do they call the TMNT friggin' Moto crossover line? What are they calling it? Turtles of Grayskull. That's it. Turtles of Grayskull toy line. If I was on my other phone, because this one's not smart enough, uh, I would ask Siri... Take a look here. Uh, let's see. Nitran says Nickelodeon owns the D uh, TMN yeah. TMNT rights, but I knew they that. have multiple licenses for figures. That uh, Nekek Playmate does the right because they they license it out. Does the retro line, and someone is doing that new vintage line. Okay, so they 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 have multiple licensing then. Um, and yeah, it, on the package, it does say Nickelodeon on it. It says Masters of the Universe and Nickelodeon TMNT. So that's what I was wondering. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah, there's the Leo. I like I like the Leonardo. He's cool. I've never seen them here. Uh, maybe I'll have to get Mike to find me Donatello and Michelangelo. I like to have I like to have them. Hey Oz. I think it's cool that you can use their shell for shield. I thought that was a cool idea. Oh, we got Oz is in the house. Good to see you, man. Oz had a great stream the other night. He had a great stream. Who was it? Uh, Toy Frenzy and Adam and I can never remember the fourth person's name. But they had a great stream the other night. It was good. Uh, let's see. Can you believe Eastman and... Uh, Eastman and Lord sold the TMNT rights for 60 million. Yeah. Yeah. I think, well, I remember watching the, um, I watched the documentary, the toys that made us or whatever. And I think one of them sold their rights. I don't know which guy, which, which one, which out of the two sold off their rights before Nickelodeon offered, made their offer. So he didn't get the money from what I understood. And he's like, I remember watching the interview and he's like, that sucks. <laughs> Because uh, the other guy that was that held on the remaining uh, rights to the franchise, he was like, cha-ching! He said it was Scully, Adam, and Bobby. Was it? I don't know who... Um, I don't remember how much it was that they offered him. Do you guys remember how much they offered uh, the, 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 off the Nickelodeon offered the guy? It was, it was in the millions, but I don't remember how much it was. But 60 million is partly compared to what it was worth. Was it really that much? Was it really 60 million? Because I didn't think it was that high. I I'm going to have to go back and watch the toys that made us again. I'm going to have to watch it to find out. But yeah, that franchise is, I mean, out of all the toy franchises that I remember, Turtles was the one that never went dry. It kept going from the time that it started till now. It never stopped. Uh, we had a time period where Master of the Z Universe stopped. We had a time period where Thundercats stopped. Uh, you know, but Turtles, it was just like from beginning to now, it just boom, 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 boom. They always kept the turtle line going. So I was like, man, no wonder. That, that franchise must be worth so much money. Must be crazy the amount of money that's worth today. Yeah, I would say so. I, I would, I'd have to look it up. Let's, 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 let's find out. Let's find out how much TMNT is actually worth. Let's find out. Uh, you got to think. 
Shirts, toys, movies, car games. Exactly. Yeah. How much is TMNT franchise worth? Let's find out. I want to say it's a billion dollars. Over a billion. <laughs> I'm way, I'm like undermining it. <laughs> okay, everybody take a guess. Don't look it up. Don't cheat. How much do you think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchises were? Type it in the chat. You got you got about 20 seconds because if anybody cheats, I'll know. Take a guess. It's it's a lot. Uh, let's see. Night Train says 1.2 billion. Uh, Speaking Moistly says 2 billion. Any others? Don't be looking it up now. I don't want no cheaters. <laughs> I looked it up because, well, I, I, uh, I'm I way off base. Monster. Our radical mom says $3 billion. Um, uh, Oz says TMNT has managed to find a way to reinvent themselves about every 10 years to a new generation. Keep it going. That's right. You're, you're right on the ball, Oz, because that's exactly, exactly what they did. Uh, they managed to change it in every single 10 years. So this uh, – the toys – the toys that got That's time gone by. That's, That's Mark. Mark. Yes. Thirty billion. Okay. Mark says thirty billion. Uh, Oz says about fifteen billion. Uh, uh, Jeff yes. says a hundred billion. One trillion dollars. Steve, uh, or sorry, Sir Clifton says ten billion. And I think they sold for sixty million. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys how much the franchise is currently worth. It's a lot of money. It is. 17.4 17. billion dollars is how much Teenage Mutant Turtles is worth right now. That is ridiculous to think that it was just two guys that sat in a room and drew the characters as a joke. That's how the whole franchise started. Just blows your mind. Just blows your mind. Right time, right place. Man, that's crazy. 17 freaking billion. I was thinking, I was thinking like, you know, two or three billion, like most of you guys, right? Like speaking mostly and mom, like I was thinking around two, three billion, 17 billion dollars. That's crazy. Yeah. So who was the closest? Night Train was the closest, was he? Yeah. No, he said 1.2. Oz was the closest because he, he said, he said, he said, he said 15 billion, so Oz was the closest, but that's okay. It's not a matter of who wins, who loses. It's just it's just for fun. It's crazy. Uh, Mark says I just picked Oz up is those, I just picked up those masses of the WWE figures for less than four bucks each at a Walmart. I, I heard they were on. I was looking it up on what is it, Walmart.com. I saw that. It was like four dollars each. I was like, what the heck? How in the heck? Did they sell it? They must have sold out. Are they still available? They must Check have sold phone. out. They must have. Check your phone. I, I saw that on Amazon or Amazon on uh, Walmart.com. Unfortunately, they don't they don't ship here. Or I would have been all over that. I would have been all over that, like flies on crap. Let me see. Walmart.com. Walmart.com. Let's just type in Masters. What waves was it? Masters of the <laughs> WWE. Night train goes, do flies like crack? Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see Stephanie McMahon for $3.69. Yeah, Mark says they're still available. Holy! Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, $4. He said he just bought more yesterday. Goldberg, four ninety five, four thirty five. Ultimate Warrior, three seventy two. Oh my lord! I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get um, Mike to jump on these. Are you in the chat, Mike? You're probably no. Mike's working. Mike's working. Five sixty seven for Macho Man Randy Savage. Uh, we got Kane for four thirteen. Roddy Piper, three seventy four. Ha! We've got uh, China. <gasps> I want her. Seventeen ninety-nine. Ray Mysterio. Red Wings. Twenty ninety-nine. 
All right, uh, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send this to Mike right freaking now. Mike, give me some of these figures, buddy, and I'll pay you up. We gotta get some of these figures, man. This is too. This is too good to be. I want that macho man. The it's the the horde one because I already I got the other one. Uh, well, how do we how do we copy this? Uh, let me send these to Mike. 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 Mike and Ike. Uh. I can't get on my Instagram. I didn't think, I thought they were sold out. How in the heck are they still available? That's crazy. Because you won't find those on the Canadian site. There's just no way. This is not the time to forget my password. Now it doesn't want to let me. Mom asked you, do they have a. Have them. They won't have them here. Don't they have the giant? Something. Yeah, he's. Uh, they do have uh, Andre the giant, but he was like at the end of the wave. I didn't see him on there, but well, he, that's he like, might be. We have to look for that one. I'll, I'll look further, but I only I only skimmed like a little bit of the first page or whatever. He might be there. They did make him in the superstars line as well. What? Uh, oh, I can't get on. I'll have to send Shawn it to Michaels, I'll send it to Mike later. Shawn Michaels, Scott Hill, Kevin Hatch, Hogan, Flair, all those that he needs on sale too. That's crazy. Uh Night Trench as well. The listing is a hundred hundred uh rewards were sold since yesterday. What the heck? Master Battle Armor He Man is six seventy seven. Let me see. I'll scroll down further and see if they have. Uh, uh, Mark says, "Why is Andre the Giant so expensive?" He's just a lovable character, I guess. He's just one let, of those ones. Mom says, let me know someday, Lo. We'll find you. We'll find it for you, Mom. They got the NWO Hulk Hogan. They got. Um, is this just a sale or is this a clearance, guys? Do you guys know? Is this a sale or a clearance? They got Shawn Michaels. Night they got Rick has, Flair. Tear, tears, I meant. The listing says a thousand terrors were sold since yesterday. Did I come back in this? Did I come back and stop? Mark says WWE Superstars Andre Giant is $50. I don't get it. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, does it? It's clearance. Oh, they got um, Scott Hall. They got him for $7.96. Circumstance says it's clearance. It's clearance? Okay, so they're, they're not going to last long then, probably. Yeah, Mark says they're clearance as well. They're not going to last long. But yeah, that's all the ones that I've seen. But out of the ones that I've seen, there's like four or five that I want. So we're going to have to get, maybe we can get Mike to jump on a couple. Can you get me the wafers in the fridge? The wafers? Yeah. You want you want candy? More candy? Yes, I do. Another sugar high? Oh, my legs. <laughs> 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 these things are good but man they are sweet like they are like really really sweet i can only eat like one or two and then i have to put them away because they're too sweet very very it's like it's like eating a uh, pure sugar on a stick but they're good they're no way We do like our candy. <laughs> yeah, the, the WWE superstars are six to seven each. Yeah, that's really good. Like, that's Walmart awesome. Ha Walmart has Stratos. Hogan, Flair, and those WWE superstars on sale, too. Yeah, I saw, saw a couple of them. I saw, I like to have the Ric Flair. Mike, get two of each. I'll make some more trades. That would be a good idea. I think Mike's at work, but I'm going I'm to send them... I'll send him a message. I'll be talking. I was already talking to him earlier. I'll talk. I'll message him later. I'll send him the uh, the link to it. See, because he, uh, I don't know if there's any on there that he's missing or not, but I can find out. I wish they could. I wish they shipped to Canada. Hello, radical sister. She's popping in to say hello again. Haha. <laughs> oh, you made it in. You must be on a break. They working you hard, or you hardly working? <laughs> I can eat about one of these. 
Mark says, I had an issue where I put them in my cart and... And they went out of stock, but then I refreshed and they were in my cart again. Ooh. Close call. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it says, I got enough. Get enough of the H2, HWO Randys and get the Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and Hogan. I want them all. Oh, Point Tread is on clearance? What, are they, what is he on clearance for? How much are they asking for him? I don't have a Point Tread. I didn't get one yet. I never had the vintage one when I was a kid, so I'm okay if I don't get it, but if it's on a clearance sale... I also got the Mechanic and Ground Ripper for 14. That's a good buy. I ha I do have that set, but um, I I think I got mine off Mattel Creations when they ninja dropped it. You know Mattel Creations, they always ninja drop stuff. Night Train said that he um he found one in Moss. I think for four dollars. I think I paid forty for mine, my Mechanic, but I, I did eventually get them. Amazon for fourteen. There you go. You're like me. You gotta keep on the keep on the day, uh, the sales and deals. Thing about Amazon, their change their prices change every freaking day. You can get some real good sales on there. Yeah, I got mine at full price too, unfortunately. But I really wanted Mechanic. I was like, I gotta have Mechanic. The Ground Ripper, Road Ripper was just that was just a bonus for me. I would have liked it if they would have had the action feature to it, but it's all right. I was happy to get Mac and Mechanic anyway. Both of them, I wish, would have had their action feature. Is one of the rings on sale, too? I don't know. if the, I, I see them there, but I don't know if it's on sale. I saw one in there. I'd have to go back a page and see. Nope, got to go forward a page and see. I know I saw a ring in there. I just don't know if it was on sale or not. I'd have to go back to the top here. I'm not sure. Stephanie, Dragon, uh, Goldberg, Warrior, Macho Man, Kane, Piper, China. Uh, I want that Ray Mysterio because it's got the red wings. Uh, Kevin Nash. No, the ring's not on sale. The ring is $69. It's pricey. Stone Cold sold out. Oh, the Talon Fighter's on for $25. I see it. Paul Hogan, NWO version, $12. That's pretty good. And $46 for the plain ring without the figures. Yeah, fourteen sixty four for uh, Mechanic and Road Ripper. That's a good price. More better than what I paid for it. I paid a lot. Uh, let's see. I got mine at full price. Yeah, me too. Um. Yeah, I, I got to admit, I do like the, um, even though I stopped collecting the Masterverse figures, I do like that Mechanic. That Mechanic's pretty, pretty cool. He is pretty neat. He looks pretty close to his original design, so that's why I like it so much. Uh, yeah, I don't have any of the Stone Colds. So didn't they make a couple Stone Colds? They made one with Trap Jaw, and they made one with the Ring or something like that. I think they made them twice, didn't they? They're going to release Night Stalker soon. Yeah, they should, because we saw the images of it. They totally should. He should be coming soon. I know he's got, like, the Snake Mountain instead of the Castle Grayskull stand or whatever. So it's, it's a little bit of a different design. But I think it has Snake Mountain on it. It's pretty neat. I, 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 I gotta I gotta admit I, even though I'm not I wasn't a huge fan of Stridor, the origins one 
kind of blew my mind away. I was really happy with what they did with it. They did the, uh, like the ratchet joints and stuff for them and stuff. It's, I really liked Stridor. I was very happy for, for that, uh, horse, even though I'm not a huge fan of it. But when I got it, I was like, man, I actually like this. You never really know until you actually get it in your hands. So you get something in your hands, whether you're really going to like it or not. Uh, I've gotten to where I add them to my Amazon cart, and if they go on sale, I buy. If not, oh well. Yeah, I I'm pretty much the same way. I'll buy like one or two that I really, really want, and then if I have extra money, I'll start adding them into the cart and then save for later. And then if they go on sale, I do the same thing. I'm always watching the sales. I watch Amazon every day. Like I check it at least once a day. Yeah, just uh, if you wanted to paint them, I don't, I don't think Night Stalker has anything different, right? Like it's the same helmet. Um, I don't think the designs are different. Maybe just different stickers. I don't know if Night Stalker literally has anything different about him other than the uh, the stand that he comes with. Uh, Frankie Rivera, thank you for dropping in. Ollie's here in the states. Have. NWO and Hogan for a uh, Ric Flair for five bucks. Oh, that's cool. I would like to have Ric Flair, the one where he's in the red or whatever, and he's got the red cloth good or whatever, the robe. I like to have that one. That's really cool. Five bucks. We don't have all these here. You guys are lucky. We don't have that here. I'm jealous. Uh, John says, yes, yeah, Stone Cold was done twice. Uh, once a trap jaw and the other one came as Rattlesnake Snake Mountain. That's that's right. Yeah, that's right. Because he came with the snake hand things, right? That's what I thought. I was like, I'm pretty sure they made Stone Cold twice. I was right. Am I always never has anything worth getting? They still have dozens of Lady J. You know who I want, and Mike found it. Uh, it was one of his purchases that he had on Wednesday, and <laughs> it was G.I. Joe Classified, the retro card Rakondo, and then he had the Scarlet, and I was like, is that? I'm like, I, I, I was teasing him, right? I was like, oh, so uh, I see you picked up Scarlet for me because he knows I really want it. <laughs> Then he was like, I said, if I see another one, I'll get you one. It's like, I really want that retro card Scarlet. Like, that's one of the top figures on my list to get because it's going to be one of my final G.I. Joe classifieds that I get. I'm only going after a couple more after that, and I'm done. Uh, the day that they come out with Wetsuit, I'm right on top of it. I want Wetsuit and G.I. Joe classified. Yeah, I really want that Scarlet. They... I felt they knocked that one out of the park. As soon as she, he showed me, he's like, because I asked him, I said, she got butterfly joints? He's like, yep. I'm like, oh, frig, yep, sold. I want it. So give me Scarlet. I like Lady J. Um, I was actually, when I was growing up, I was more of a Lady J fan than a Scarlet fan. I really was. I preferred, I always preferred her more than, um, Scarlet, but I already have the retro card Lady J, but yeah, I'm with you on that one. I'm a Lady J fan too. I always was. I liked her in the camo outfit, right? But I do like Scarlet too. She's she's second in line for the girls, or well, Baroness is probably the number one chick in my book, but and Zertana. Or Zerana, sorry. Uh, sometimes, but sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes, but yeah, tons of Hogan and picks right now. Yeah, I don't know why it take. Man, that's why I get so sick and tired of freaking Mattel Creations because they take so long for to get the figures out to Canadians. I don't know how much more I'm going to go with Mattel Creations. I'm always going to cover the live coverage, but when it comes for me making the purchases, I'm probably going to get stoned there. Granita, if they come out with her, and um, Blast Attack. I want Blast Attack. Like He's like number one on my list that I want. And uh, probably if they come out with um, uh, Real Blast. After, other than that, I don't know if I'm going to buy anymore. 
I don't know if I'll get any more through Mattel Creations, which means I might be done with the Origins line. I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens. And I guess you should never say never, right? But there are a lot of... Uh, I am getting really tired of Mattel Creations, though. I'm getting tired of how they take forever. At least for our Canadians. My side, of the, my side of the woods, it takes them forever to get stuff here. Uh, let's see, we only have Lady J. I saw Duke Retro. I scooped him up just for display. I, I, I got to get Duke, too, only because I don't have the Wave 1 Duke. I missed out on that one, and I'm okay without it. So I think I will probably get the Retro card to him as well. I just want Scarlet first. She's number one. I want her. Uh, it's a yeah outside of the U.S. Have a bad with shipping in. What happened with Rock on? Yeah, I know. I, I I managed to get a Rock on, but I had to get Cyclone through uh, Joneser. I had to get mine through him. It's, I was getting so tired of Mattel Creations. <clears throat> Yeah, the states are by far quicker because Mike and Joneser and a few other people that I know get their uh, stuff from Mattel Creations right away. Or I'm looking at like at least a month after everybody else gets their stuff, at least a month. Like I remember I got, uh, uh, who was it, Fangor, and it took three months, nearly three months after everybody else had it. It was ridiculous. <clears throat> Uh, and who's the other one? I can't remember. They take so damn long. Even when they're in stock and it's not a pre-order, it takes them two weeks to ship it out to me. I'm like, seriously, two weeks for something that's in stock? That's that's not acceptable. I, I get really tired of them. Uh, let's see. I'm in the Midwest of the States, but the coasts get them right away. Midwest gets... Uh, gets to get product product last, yeah. You're lucky, yeah. Speaking mostly, you're lucky there. Force Horsemen stuff. That must be the uh, the Legion stuff. Is that what you were talking about, uh, Frankie? I live in uh, PA. What's PA? Pens? That's not Pennsylvania, is it? What's PA stand for? What state is that? Uh, where the Mattel factory is used, they usually come up with within the week, the first week. That's cool. Yeah, Legions. I figured that's what you're referring to. They're cool figures too. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. That's what I said, right? Pennsylvania. No. Because I was thinking Count Dracula. <laughs> and when I think of Pennsylvania, I automatically think of Count Dracula or uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's what I I'm automatically think of. Yeah, I don't know why it's so difficult. I don't don't get it. Why they got to be so hard for us Canadians? I, I don't know. I don't get it. PA is Pennsylvania. Gotcha. Right on. Count Dracula. All right. Well, I don't know. I think uh, we're getting close to the end of the stream. What do you think? You ready to rock? You're right. Okay. Oh, Transylvania. <laughs> Transylvania. Uh, when I think of Pennsylvania, I think of Vlad the Impaler. Transylvania. That's right. I'm a dumbass. But anyway, it's very similar. Pennsylvania, Transylvania. It's like, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks for dropping in night train and everybody else and thanks for the super chat guys we were one dollar off of the super chats uh, of the of, the, uh, of what our goal was so that's cool i was really close thanks guys and really appreciate it thanks for hanging out and just chilling with us we're gonna do um uh let's see now the target store started clearance too uh they must be getting ready for the newer stuff, is it? Because isn't it April where or Walmart does their 
yearly inventory stuff, right? It's in April, so that's probably why everything's on clearance for you guys. Sounds the same. I used to think the same thing when I uh, when it was awesome catching the end the end brother. Yeah, reminds me of Liberty too. Seventeen forty nine for Trap Jaw TMNT. That's pretty good. That's a good buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, what are we doing for so so Sunday, guys? Sunday, we're gonna do. Uh, if you guys are wrestling fans, we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna do some game streaming. We're gonna do uh, WWE 2K14, and I like to do like. There's a very specific Macho Man Randy Savage promo that I want to showcase because it was funny as heck. And I'd like to do at the end of the video game stream, we're going to do like a Slim Jim commercial because I'm probably going to do multiple streams. Like it's not going to be just one for this game because it's, it's, you know, 30 years of WWE, right? Starting with, we're going to start with WrestleMania one with Andre the Giant. So that's where we're going to start. And we're going to go and try to get through as much as we can with it. So I'll probably do a promo or two or whatever through each stream and see how YouTube likes it. Um, when I was looking at 2K's website for their games and stuff to see whether or not it was okay to live stream and to uh, do game coverage, they said it was a okay. So we'll see. You know, as long as there wasn't any, you know, me selling products with T-shirts and stuff like that. But we'll see what happens. We'll see. Uh, if they copyright it, it won't be a strike. They'll just uh, what they'll do is they'll just mute the audio. Uh, or mute the like the songs or whatever. So we'll see what happens. But I'll try it out. See what happens. That's the plan. Uh, no, not well. Yeah, a little bit tired, Jeff. But just a little bit of pain. That's all. Yeah, she she gets uh, like she's she got medication and stuff, right? So she gets a lot of pain in her knees. So she can only go for so long. Yeah, I love chilling with you guys too. Thanks, toys. Uh, Tom gone gone by. Really appreciate That's it. Mark. Mark, I'm going to get used to your name. Don't worry. It takes me time to get used to names. Because I said to him, and then I said, I'm not trying to be rude, but I said, can I know your name? I said, Just oh, I, I remember you saying that. <laughs> and yeah, he yeah. told me his name. I was like, okay, Mark's a lot better than trying to say your full name. Uh, John says, fun being here with you guys. Have a great night. You too there, John. Uh, thanks thanks John. for dropping in. Good night. Uh, we'll see you all guys later. Thanks, Tasty Cake. Oh, yeah. We'll see you. Yes, he is. Yeah, we'll catch him later when he we'll comes. We'll probably back. catch Bill. I'm gonna go take a. I'm gonna go have a bath and relax for a little bit. Then I'll probably jump on some lives. But you guys, all right. Have a good night, guys. Good That's night, guys. all she wrote. We're out. We're done. And I think next. I think next Friday we'll do the Becky Lynch. I think we'll do I her think next. That's what we're gonna do. Next. I think we'll do her next. We'll see. That's probably who we're gonna do. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot, and uh, see you guys on the next one. Have a good night, guys. Take care, and until next time.